she has flowers in her hair and only he and the wind were playing with it. It seemed like they have grown up so long ago, but they loved sincerely as if they were children. Those are the lines written by Andrei Hlevniuk for the song of his musical group Bombox. Stay tuned and I'll tell you more in a moment. Hello and welcome to our 5 minutes with Ekaterina, Ukrainian poetry. Today we are talking about uh, the songwriter Andrei Hlevniuk and his musical band Boombox. Boombox was uh, created in 2004, which means uh, that the new generation of Ukrainian music lovers, hip-hop and rock, light lo rock lovers, grown up on these songs. And the band is uh, extremely popular among young people, not only in Ukraine, but uh, in all post-Soviet space, because uh, the songs of this group, uh, they are both written in Ukrainian and Russian languages, so they're easily understandable for people from the ex-Soviet Union. Andriy Hlevniuk, who is uh, the frontman, the vocal player and uh, the poet, the songwriter of the band, uh, was born in 1979 in uh, Ukrainian city Cherkasy and uh, he graduated from the musical school Learning Accordion. In 2001, uh, the band in which he participated won the award and uh, they decided to start the musical career in Kyiv. Three years later, he, along with uh, the guitarist of uh, the popular at the time band Tartak, Andriy Samoylo, decided to create uh, a new music band, Boombox, and we know this band till now. In 2007, the musical composition to the Watchers was rotated in all radio stations and everybody knew it. Uh, that brought uh, the huge popularity for the band and approximately at this time I heard uh, about the band for the first time but uh, it was a different song, uh, the one which uh, I uh, read in the beginning of this video and the one I want to introduce to you right now. Boombox Kvity в Волосі Вона носила квіти в волосі, і ними грався він і ще вітер. Здавалося, давно вже дорослі, але кохали щиро, мов діти. Відчинені серця, щирі очі, таких не так багато є в світі. Лилися сльози щастя щоночі, обіцянки назавжди любити. Будиночок на розі двох вулиць, паркан плющем осіннім залитий. Здавалося, дощі схаменулись, здавалося, завжди буде літо. Лише один дзвінок телефону, і варто тільки їм захотіти, повіяло теплом з-за кордону, а отже неодмінно летіти. Не обіцяй назавжди, не обіцяй навічно. Де твоє моє завтра? У стронях вітер слище. Не обіцяй, навіщо? Не обіцяй, не треба. Залежить час найближчий, та не завжди від тебе. І раптом все змінилось навколо. Проблеми, ціни сни, сподівання, роз'їхалися, як діти в школу, що першим було, стало останнім. Їй у Варшавські спальні райони, йому Москву бетоном залити, але кохання у таксофонах приречене недовго прожити. Куди ведуть строкаті дороги? Чому ви заблукали у світі? Вас сотні, тисячі, вас мільйони. В Ізраїлі, Канаді, на Кріті. Є спогади про те, як було все. Надії є на те, як це буде. Нас доля стрімко течі її несе, бо ми не є титани, ми люди. Не обіцяй назавжди, не обіцяй навічно, де твоє моє завтра у скронях вітер слище. Не обіцяй навіщо, не обіцяй не треба. Залежить час найближчий та не завжди від тебе. I will add the link to the song itself below the video so you can listen to it. And here in this song, unlike uh, on the first compositions of the band, unlike the first lyrics, uh, you can hear a very uh, strong social context, uh, a very actual for Ukraine till nowadays problem of mass emigration. And uh, the song is telling us the story of two people who loved each other 
sincerely, but then they migrated to different countries. Uh, this uh, personal tragedy and uh, the line of the country, this uh, historical background, historical context, uh, since there uh, starting to be seen in different songs of Boombox. With uh, the development of the situation in the country, with the political situation, if uh, you remember the recent history of Ukraine in 2004, we had the first Orange Revolution and that was the time when the band was created. And uh, then uh, we had uh, the second revolution and the war with Russia started. So these uh, events, uh, they changed uh, the lyrics of the group. They made the musicians more mature, I would say. And uh, despite they fall on this line of hip hop and the uh, light rock, they are more addressing social topics and after the annexion of Crimea and after the occupation of Donbass region, Andriy stopped uh, going to Russia and stopped participating in the festivals uh, where he will be on the same stage with uh, Russian singers. And he's uh, stating his position very clear and the uh, latest Song, one of the latest songs actually recently the new one appeared but uh, the last year uh, they made uh, a new song where this political background and personal background they were connected and it's very anti-war anti-military from the first part as i told you it has the political line and uh, the musical video on the clip shows it it shows the occupation it shows the corruption in ukraine it shows all our social problems the war, the problems after war, the trying of the person to find uh, his place because the man is on the, in the center of the events. Uh, the, uh, the main hero tries to find his own place here. And the second line in the lyrics itself is uh, the personal story connected actually to the personal event in the life of Andre because he divorced uh, with his wife. And uh, it is the line of separation, the line of uh, going apart uh, and finding another way in life. So let's read uh, the lyrics together and again I'll add the video so you can watch it yourself and tell me what you think. Angela jak ja, Angela jak ja, Angela jak ja, Angela. Ти хочеш, щоб твоїм був, щоб знов літав я. Давай іще один смс. На кшталт солодший голос, ніж солов'я, але не в тому твій інтерес. А потім фото, де ти крихка, або попросиш допомогти. То я тебе так довго шукав, і сточено ці гострі кути. Звичайні всі, та ти не така, як просто стало згоди дійти. Вночі не знаємо, де себе діти, Френкі і Джоні, дорослі діти. Біжу і не чіпляю рілі, всі прилади мої на нулі, і люди вже не як кораблі. Монмартр, ти, вона і далі. Ангела, як я. Де ти знайдеш такого ангела, як я? Ангела, як я. І якщо хочеш, щоб пішов я, хочеш, щоб змовк, давай іще один смс. Щоб був найкращим в парі з нас двох. Не пив вина, не грав стюардес. Що не чекав у спину ножа з усюди, та не від тебе. Жах. Наплюй, на до себе жаль чи ні, цей біль поживе в мені, немов у камені. Віденські шилі, клімт і лінд не розіблють наш треклятий рід. Я думав, що віднайшов свій золотий грааль. Танули пристрасті в готелі в номерах. Ставало звично все, тепер скажи це все, що справа не в мені, і ми зайшли за край. Відпустить, набирай, бо ми загубили рай. Ангела, як я. Де ти знайдеш такого ангела, як я? Де тепер знайдеш такого ангела, як я? Ангела. If you compare this song to the previous one I read uh, together today with you, you will see that it's completely different. It's written in the more modern style and actually it is the cover of uh, the song uh, written by the band uh, Krihitka and performed by the band Krihitka, but they're completely different. The lyrics lines, uh, they are written from a scratch and only uh, the Angela part uh, it was taken from the original version. And uh, Andri illustrated uh, the song uh, with the pictures of the Holland uh, painters of the 16th and 17th century, but uh, placed there all 
things that are connected to the political situation and uh, in the interview when he was trying to explain the musical video because it's not that straightforward message he said that different people find different stances in it and even the things that uh, were not initially in there are now are very actual and uh, are very on the surface uh, for the people so if you watch it also take some time to read comments and to see how different the parallels are uh, try to watch the uh, this video again and maybe you will notice something interesting of course within the short uh, video you cannot cover and introduce all the aspects uh, of the musical band uh, or of the poet even i hope uh, that it would inspire you to do your own research and uh, meanwhile leave me a comment uh, if you want to know more about uh, ukrainian present-day music and uh, musical poetry the lines written especially to become the songs if yes uh, maybe you know the band you want to know more about to learn more about and to read the lyrics together i'm excited to read your comments as usual and also, if you liked the video, don't forget about your likes, subscribe for the channel, hit the bell button. It wouldn't change anything in your life, but it will definitely make me happier. And of course, if you can, please support the channel on Patreon. That's how I know that these videos matter and I can create more of them in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Goodbye for now.